My name's Triple Six Steve, and this is my 4x4 session with No Margins Media. I've got a panda on my top. Uh, my name is Triple Six Steve. I am part of Sabotage Audio. I run Sabotage Audio. Also run BHP Co, which is a clothing brand, um, and I'm also one third of Bleed Easy. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> it's like a truffle shuffle. <laughs> Best money spent. There's a lot of ways I could answer this question, but I'm not going to choose those answers. <laughs> There's no, 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 that's definitely not the best money I've ever spent. Um, I'll tell you what, best money I ever spent was buying a Boomtown ticket, and it literally changed my life, it changed my outlook on music, it changed my outlook on, on raving, and it's made me want to set up Sabotage in the first place. Like, I'll hands up, hold that down, it's probably one of the biggest moments. I know it sounds sad, but you know, people have emotional connections with things. Fucking Boomtown was fucking amazing for me, do you know what I mean? Like, all my mates were going there, we fucking saw loads of different shit, dragging all my mates to come see people like Limp Bizkit and Enter Shikari. It's, you know, my sort of shit that's not their sort of shit, they all fucking loved them. Like, they were the best moments of my life, so therefore, £200 for a Boomtown ticket, hands down the best money I've ever spent. Basically, Boomtown sort of like, just plays the, plays a completely different part in the UK festival scene, like it's massive, so it's a huge festival and it's got a massive budget. From when I went, you know, like obviously people would complain and say, it's not as good as when it was at small and it was like a small festival. But for me, like when I went there and sort of saw the whole production and things like that, I'd only been to places like Reading and, you know, sort of small festivals. And you've got no fucking idea about this shit until you go somewhere like that and then it's like, it completely takes you over, like, I just want to be back, I want to be back doing that fucking thing, you know, and, and that, that was sort of what made me fall in love with it and, and what made me want to go in the first place, I guess. Um, who inspires me? I've got quite a lot of inspirations, really. Um, top of the list would probably be Bring the Horizon. I'm a massive fucking Bring the Horizon fan, I'll hold my hands up. Uh, second, Rage Against the Machine, uh, also a massive fucking influence on me. Um, also my boys, obviously Bleed Easy, that was a massive change in my life, so um, that was a big part, I guess. Um, Ed Scissor, as well, he's a, a UK hip hop artist, he's fucking sick. A lot of High Focus Records is a big influence as well. Um, and then just sort of blues and soul and singy sort of stuff, like that sort of had its inspiration. And a, a, one other band, Will and the People, um, they are like just up there for me as the, the best band ever, really. So, yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> Would you let your girl get a sugar daddy if he provides enough for both of you? <laughs> hmm. That's a hard one. <laughs> I'd hope it wouldn't be a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell man no I wouldn't nah I'd just do it myself yeah fucking right I, you know I, I can't deal with that shit man come on mate like look at me I'm not fucking I'm not going to be getting as much as she's going to be getting and it'll make me jealous like you know by, by getting I mean money not getting but also the fact that she'll be getting it as well is not fucking a nice thought is it really you know like make your own money I'd like to think she'd be after me for what I want to be do you know what I mean nice fucking Big Mac and a coffee, you know, as okay. opposed to a martini and a fucking gourmet burger. Not my cup of tea, mate. <laughs> uh, so I've just released uh, Boogeyman with Bleed Easy, uh, which came out on last Friday. Um, so go and check it out if you can. Um, and then at the moment I'm working on uh, uh, my first ever vinyl release. Uh, so I've got an A and B side single coming out. Um, it's called Lonely View. It's with a producer called One Wish, who's also from Cambridge. He's fucking sick. Um, so I've got that coming up, and then just working on more Bleed Easy stuff, really. Number two. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not up with my Spanish. Not with my French. Oh, that's a fucking hard one, fellas. Bone in or boneless. Right, so here's my here's the deal, okay. Overall, as a rule, if I were to eat chicken, like I uh, like bo southern fried chicken, I like boneless chicken, but I prefer wings. Wings are by far the, the superior chicken if I'm gonna get that sort of food. Also, if you're gonna get like, you know when you cook wings and it's not southern fried, like you know when it's fucking like baked wings like Pepe's like you know like or, or Nando's they're, they're, 
with that sort of wings. And then if I cook at home, I cook fucking um, chicken thighs. I cut up chicken thighs and I'll put that in food. So I don't know, it's a really tricky one. Overall, I would say I eat boneless more, but I actually prefer like boned chicken, I guess. That was a really tough question, man. I don't really know how to answer that one. I think it's a, I did its job. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I mean, I, I like writing music, so that's sort of my thing, like writing songs. Um, but if not, I'd probably be a DJ. <laughs> Something to do with music, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I also, we run events in Cambridge already, so I would probably push that more and just sort of do the event side of things as opposed to the music, but it was just too hard to resist to do both. I've been writing since I was younger, but like I was in a band when I was at school, like secondary school. Um, and then in a band with Nigel when we sort of were just leaving school. Um, so I guess that was sort of at the start of it, but it was nothing like what we're making now. It wasn't, it's not like, um, it's not sort of, it was different. It was sort of like just an indie band, sort of, you know, typical sort of shit you, you get when you're younger. But it was still an awesome time, we had a great time. Um, but then it's only about a year and a half ago when I actually came back from Boomtown and I was just fucking on some mad one and just started writing a load of bars and I thought, you know what, actually, I can fucking carry on doing this. That's what I did, and here we are. Here we are, in your lovely abode, okay? Right, this is my last question. What have we got here then? One embarrassing thing that you're admitting now. Okay, I don't know if I should really tell this story live on air or on a camera of any sort, but I probably will. Mum, I apologise in advance. Um, basically, well, the first time I went to Amsterdam with all my boys, when we all turned 18 years old, um, I decided to take a certain fungal thing that had psychedelic effects. And when I did it, I was fucking basically walking around Amsterdam and I was having a laughing fit with me and my friends. And then it was like going one more step worse, one step worse, and I was in the centre of Amsterdam and I pissed myself. And that, <laughs> that was by far the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> there was no toilets anywhere and I was just kept laughing and like forgetting the fact that it was going on in my head and as I kept walking so I kept going into laughing fits and then bang that was it black shorts mate <laughs> <laughs> happy 18th Connor <laughs> <laughs> this is triple six D from sabotage audio and bleed easy this is my four by four session with no margins media it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very much Very true. What came first, though, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, I'd say, say the chicken, because it hadn't been an egg, right? It's got to be some mutated shit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's going to be some some weird little dinosaur fucking bird that got turned into a. <laughs> Evolution, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking, we got to definitely get my little chicken in there. That's probably put a random part right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah.